Hey, good morning, everybody. Kay here on the homestead in Tennessee, and I have my friend Gina here who's been following my channel for some time, and we're finally meeting. Well, we've got a lot going on, and we're expecting the tree cutters, <laughs> trimmers. He's not trimming, he's cutting <laughs> any minute, so stay tuned. I had a couple of them here yesterday giving me estimates. They both agreed that this tree is a large shagbark hickory that I had topped last year. You cannot top, didn't know this, but you can't top shagbark hickory or oak trees like that because if you cut into the, the, the good wood, uh, it'll, it'll start to kill it. So last year, one of the big limbs dropped off and it would have killed me if I'd been standing there. So that is coming down and this cedar tree is coming down because it's just in an awkward place. You can't sit underneath it because everybody here believes that there are ticks in cedar trees. There's controversy about that, I know, because cedar is a natural pest deterrent. My mother had a cedar chest. She had all of her important quilts and beautiful things she made in her cedar chest uh, because supposedly it keeps the moths and everything out. And we're going to be sitting either there or over uh, there there is an area beside the shop that's mostly rock. And that'd be a great place for a fire pit too. I want a fire pit and I don't want to spend a bunch of money. So I'm thinking of just having them cut this big trunk into stumps to sit on around the fire pit for now. And then I've got all kinds of rocks. I can just make a circle of rocks and create a fire pit. And I've got loads of old crappy firewood that's covered in spiders and everything else behind the shop. Then the shagbark hickory behind the cedar tree is also coming down. It's got some disease and so it, they're going to take the three of them down so this area will be cleared. They're leaving all the wood chips. They're going down there because I've got enough up here. That's the plan. So we'll see how things go.
Mm. It's barely enough room. If I didn't have all that wood here, it sure would be. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. We could have gotten that Blackberry Arbor a little bit farther off the driveway. <laughs> oh, this is the most beautiful mum I have. This is a Sheffield. It's an heirloom. What do you think? The trees are gone. Everything's a little different. Everything's a little different. Yeah, people have been here. Check it out. Smell it. Make sure everything's safe. Good girl, BJ. Oh, they're happy to be out. They were cooped up. I like it. I don't love looking at the shop, but that can be power washed and painted or whatever. But now I don't have to worry about that big tree falling on me. Want to go over with Tiger? Tiger's watching a bird in the tree, probably. So now the fun begins trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the space, how I'm going to work with what I have. And you will be along for that journey. So I hope you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything. All the kitty action right here. God bless and I'll see you next time. Where's BJ? Hmm? Patch. Patch. Hi, baby. Look here. Come on. Oops. Patch wants to play, Tiger. Come on. Hey Gina, how's it going with those sunflower seeds? Slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. Do you feel like you're making progress? Yes, I am making progress. Would you say you're a quarter of the way done? A what? A quarter of the way done? No. <laughs> a tenth of the way done? No. <laughs> In all fairness, you have not been doing that since we started no. since you started earlier today.